Hi everybody, it's Paula and welcome back to At The Table. Today, I am in the lair of J.R. Cruz <laughs> from Mix 96.9 FM. Truly one of my favorite channels and especially because it's been here for so long. So J.R., so glad to have you here. It's an honor. It's an honor to well, be here. Well, I'm, I'm really privileged to be in your lab. So this is JR's lab that he, this is where he is when he's on the air, right? Actually, this is my office studio when I'm not on the oh, air. Oh, okay. So this is where you- This is where I produce and where I write and when I, where I do a lot of my meditation before I go on the air. I love that. And that's, yeah, that's something we can talk about for sure. And like always, we don't have a ton of time, but JR is going to be back with us because we have a lot to get to know about him. So let's just start out with a music question and we can talk about background and all of that, but this is a reckless question. I know it's not fair, <laughs> but, and I know it's not. Um, what is your favorite song and why do you, and I know that's ridiculous, but. Okay, okay so real quick, 30 years, almost 40 years of radio. There's too many songs to just pick one, but. Especially for you. For me, yes, but my all time, I do have an all-time favorite that I go to uh, when I need that reminder yeah. of who I am, awesome. and that's Drift Away by Uncle Cracker and Dobie Gray. <gasps> that's it, huh? Oh, that's my heart just went. Da, da, da. That's the song. Seriously. That's my all-time go-to in karaoke, live, uh, when I've performed with other artists. And uh, but why? But that's my why? song. Why? The lyrics. Just the lyrics. Yeah. So if you dig into the lyrics you can see why. That's what it's all about with music. I mean, to me, the lyrics, you have to understand the lyrics or you cannot judge a song <clears throat> right. or know its value. And you and the writer, when he's writing that lyric, he's gone through some trauma or pain. And I relate to that song because I've gone through a lot of it. The world right now is so unkind. Yeah, and that's a lyric in the song. Exactly. And so I relate to that song, and uh, it's just one of my favorites. I like the melody. Yeah, the melody is uh, very soothing. It's yeah. just one of those it's songs where song. you can listen to it over and over yeah. and over, and I get tired of it. Yeah. I mean, constant. There's Absolutely. so many different lyrics, so many words in that song that just speak. Yeah. Uh, and I can hear it differently every single time. It's different words in in the song. Uh, hit me at different points in of the day or yeah. in my in the moment or the right. week or the day whatever the case right. may be what I'm right. whatever I'm going through yeah so yeah I, I understand that too because it, it's poignant in different ways at different times Absolutely. and so w when we talk about and I talk about this a lot that I don't want at the table with Paula to just be a rudimentary interview sh show I want us to get authentic and talk about things especially as you say Jr how cruel the world has become, even in social media. And that's the last thing I know that you, as an influencer, as a disc jockey, as, a, as someone here in Huntsville who's getting known, and I'm so happy Thank to you. be with you. But for Too us- kind. No, Too kind. No, it's the truth, it's the truth. And so I just think that Im important questions are important. And we have shared a lot about each other personally, and so, I, I have some things that I'll be sharing too, but I want you at, in a later time, but I want you to tell us, tell the viewers just a little bit about what you've been through that's been so powerful and that has changed your life. There's so many things. Um, short version. So I was married uh, very young, uh, got a divorce that led to addiction, mm. that led to a uh, bad car accident, left me paralyzed. Uh, but it, in that in that process of getting healed, I got healed spiritually too. I I found God in the process, and have been walking with Him for 15 years now. I've been sober for that long too. That's extraordinary. So, especially in this industry. Yes, this industry is very dark. Um, a lot of people don't see that. They don't get to see the back, mm -mm. the the backstage access. Yeah, I always they call it the back it. of the house because right. in the restaurant right. industry right. it's the same. So a lot of people don't get to see backstage of what happens in radio or even in concerts. Yeah, they don't yeah. have access to that. I've lived it all my life since I was 15. So wow. almost 40 years I've been dealing with all that. Oh my God. So. Well, and it's in your face all it's the time. It's constant, it's free. It, it, it's free and it's, and it's, your job is very stressful. 
it's you know it can be if you allow it to be well this is true but I think that's what leads people to addiction too is the anxiety of mm -hmm. what they're going through depression anxiety all of that and it's not as glamorous as people make it to be it's it's very lonely it's a very lonely world in this industry because we are upstage for a few minutes and then yeah. we're backstage and then we're at home right and I don't do after parties. I don't right, right. go. I don't get involved with all that stuff. Right. And there's a reason for that. Yes. Um, back in the day, before I found my sobriety, I did partake yeah. in a lot of that. Yeah, and, sure. Uh, so that was that would not be abnormal. Right. And now, now it's just, now it's just. I do what I do. I go to work. Yeah. I yeah. I earn my keep, and yeah. then I go home and yeah. just relax and yeah. chill. And with all of that comes your like 30 years of experience in the music industry and in producing. So tell us, just give us a little rundown of how prodigious your talent is. Because it's pretty <laughs> damn awesome. I've been, <laughs> my peers are so kind. Uh, I've been awarded uh, Air Talent of the Year in Kansas City and Dallas and Houston. Uh, I've been nominated for Air personality through the billboards and uh, won awards through mm. CMT because I've done all genres. I've done country. I've done pop. Right, I've done right. rock. I've done it all, for, with the exception of talk and and sports. But gotcha. uh, it's one of those things where you just you work hard and and hope mm. that somebody recognizes that talent and right. and get you get that phone call and and, yes. and, and it's happened. Yeah, you know uh, I've lived my dream. Right. And I've worked in the dream markets that I've wanted to in Dallas, Houston, because I'm a Texas boy. I'm from Texas. Yeah. What is with this peacock thing you're wearing? It's so colorful. Well, I didn't get that memo. I'm wearing like all black. Well, JR, it's actually, <laughs> I don't think you've understood. This is like a whole St. Patty's Day. <laughs> ah, deal. you're still. No, I, you. I bought oh, stuff from Amazon so nice. I'd be memorable. <laughs> See? Here nice. I am. I just <laughs> nice. thought that, you know, it'd be fitting for me to meet a star like you. Oh, I'm not a star. Stop it. My best garb. Well, I'm, this and is I my love. attire. <laughs> this is what I wear when I go out. Well, this is just me. Tell them about, this is an interesting ritual that he has. So you wear, I call it a toboggan. So, date so it's me, my beanie. Cares. Your beanie, <laughs> my okay, beanie. okay. So, and then what about on air? So when I go on the air in the studio, in the on air studio, I put on my Roll Tide hat, baseball cap. <laughs> but it's color coordinated. It is. Everything I, everything I wear is color coordinated. I've never seen a gray Bama hat. I, I, oh. I, yeah, I think you should probably show everybody. Here we go. So they'll know. So, so this is where this is this where, is you where go. The, This is where the transition happens. Nice. And when I go into the studio, I put it on. Oh, that's fantastic. And then I turn, on, turn it backwards when I'm ready to rock and roll on the air. Oh. Just like okay. that. That, I do that a lot with my hats. Like, you look good in a hat, though. Oh, well, you can pull it off. I, I don't know about that, but <laughs> I wear mine backward a lot of time, even though it doesn't look very good, just because you, you it's can. kind of an attitude shift. Yeah, like, it is. You're right. You're on, man. You're, you're right. No, you're, you're absolutely <laughs> right. For me, it's all about attitude on the air yeah. and bringing the personality across. And yeah. so people can hear it. If I'm jamming in the studio, people can feel that through their speakers. Absolutely. And so that's why I do what I do. Uh, uh, well, and you can... You can see it and feel it. You can oh, thank literally, you. Thank you can you. see it here and you can feel it on air. So let me ask you a, another question, way off subject, but near and dear Always. to my heart: food. Oh so, my and, lord! Uh, slow down, Jr. <laughs> slow down, because uh, I know you're like me. I'm a foodie. Yes. yes, you are. Yes, and you tell them about the award that you've won with culinary, the culinary association. So. Being an, a radio personality, I participate in a lot of celebrity cook-offs, and so I've won that's, a couple of those. That's great. I've won uh, in South Texas uh, fajita cook-off contest. In Chile, South Texas. In South. I'm from South Texas. I'm from originally from the McAllen Brownsville South Padre area. So if you okay. know where South Padre Island is, that's where I'm from. Wow. So that's I've won. Beautiful uh, place. Yes, uh, I do miss it sometimes. I'm sure. Sometimes, yeah, <laughs> not so, all the time. Sometimes, yeah. But I won uh, fajita cook-off for best fajitas. Uh, I, I won for best ribeye steak. I won for best chili. Shut up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're just showing it out. But hey, you, this but is what should. this platform is all about, right? Exactly. I mean, <laughs> you're just so multi-talented. I try to be. That, I'm and very that, educated. That's a gift. Yeah, it, it's, it's a gift to people 
to be around people that are so diverse in their interests and their talents because then you learn so much from them. My father, them. my father, who's my hero, said to me one day, knowledge is power. And so I try to be informed. I try to be informed as much as possible. Right. And I try to learn as quickly as possible. And well, it's, it, that's an attitude and a zest that's all about you and what your desires are to bring, you know, to bring knowledge and, and fun and authenticity, especially given what we just shared about uh, your journey through addiction and oh, redemption you. and all of that. Um, is there anything you want our viewers to know before we exit? Because we're now going to get to see some behind the scenes with J.R. Cruz. Um, I don't know. Um, anything specific you want to know? Yeah, yeah. Like So what? when we talked about food memories, what is your most memorable, I know, uh, food memory that you can recount to us quickly? So making chicken mole with my mom in the kitchen. Oh, okay, that's impressive. That's yes. a long, immersive process. Yes, and so my mom and I were foodie partners in crime. We it. would go to food trucks when she passed two years ago, but we would, she was, she was always willing to learn and try new dishes. Cause I always brought stuff to the table and sure, I'm like, mom, sure. you got to try this place or mom, you think we can re redo this yeah, recipe yeah. and just kind of, we break it down. And That's a chef. So yeah, that was me. That's and my beautiful. mom enjoyed the endeavor of going to try new places. Sure. My dad, not so much, but. After my mom passed, my dad says, hey, I want to go try that taco place your mom I went. Bet. So my dad became my partner in crime. Oh, I love so, that. Yeah. That's, a, that's a beautiful thing to happen. Yes. And we are blessed to have JR in Huntsville. So glad to have you Thanks. here. We're now going to go on to looking at what he does behind the scenes, and we'll see you soon. So follow me on YouTube. I never say this. Follow and like my channel so you can see more fabulous people like JR. I'll see you soon. Bye. Thanks, JR. Thank you. All the preparation that we do going into the show, it, you can hear it in the speakers. You can hear the everything. Like you've seen a little bit of the background, and people will get to know that as we continue this, yes. this journey. But yes. um, people, they only hear the product. They only hear what's coming through the speakers. They don't see me editing a phone call or editing a commercial or voicing something or, okay, reading on the internet because I'm constantly yeah. on the phone. I'm updating social media and I'm doing our, whatever I'm talking about the airs on our Facebook page. So they don't see all that because they just see it pop up on their screen. Yeah, yeah. And that's why I'm glad we're here so that we can just get a little glimpse into all that you have to, my to do. World, yeah. It's We'll be I tell, back to dissect it more. I tell people all the time, I said, this, you only, you're, you're only seeing what I allow you to see yeah. on social media. Yeah. And yeah. people always post the pretty stuff. I don't. I post all of it. That's so And good. so this is really cool. I'm glad that we're doing this because it gets people behind the scenes right. through your eyes right, right. and through what I do. And they get the whole picture of how it works. And that's important for me that people understand that. I don't, I'm not just working four hours. Yeah. This is fun for me. This is the fun part. Right. Like this is my playtime. Yeah. And but you can see it when you put your headphones on and you start going. Because I'm jamming. You can, and you can the music see the your whole persona yeah. just up. changes yeah. into J.R. Cruz and it's it's really, really magnificent to see. Well, thank you, Paula. That means a lot to me. Yeah. And, and thank you for having me. Oh, I really appreciate thank it. Thank you for having me. We'll do this again.